I'm John Barker and I live in Cambridge and I have written I think it's 41 books now but this one which is really a summary of my life's work is called Why Religions Matter and it's published by Cambridge University Press. I care greatly about the planet and human life on this planet, and I think that would be true of everybody as well as myself. But I have a particular interest because I know that religions or religious believers can do extremely frightening, terrifying, and we might even say evil things. Religions are involved in so many of the conflicts that we can't solve around the world. We obviously know the Middle East. So I've spent a whole life working on answering the question, why do religious people hate each other so much? And I now understand why they hate each other so much. And the basic reason is because religions have done so much that is so good for human history, human lives, and for society and the planet, that religious believers tend to defend what they have received from the past, and they will defend it to the point of killing others or killing people who attack them. The paradox of religion is that religions are such bad news when they are because they are such good news. Hope. There is reason for hope, but there is a point in the book when I actually do say, have we any chance of averting or contesting the damage that religious believers can do when they're defending or protecting what to them is truth more important than life itself? They'd rather die than abandon what they've inherited from the past. That the book is a plea almost to come on board and understand what religions are and why they matter so much to so many people alive today. And if we have that understanding, the book is arguing and trying to show in detail, we really do have reason for hope and we ought to work together to put that hope into practice. The digital age is one of my reasons for being so hopeful. So the church's vocation is to call people out of the digital world into actual contact and encounter with each other. And on the basis of the digital ch church, if I could call it that, yes, we have the great opportunity to discover why we need to see each other, to touch each other, to smile at each other, yeah, and sometimes to frown. My book is about why religions have been the most important social, cultural creation of humans in the whole history of the planet. So the book is, I suppose, fundamentally, why do we behave as we do, and why do we behave religiously? as we do in some circumstances.